Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back. Um, this is Professor West. I'm going through some Excel tools real quick and uh, just trying to get a, a generic um, jump on some of these tools that you may be covering. And in the last segment, we created this small inventory sheet and I wanted to keep working with that and show you some more cool things because we're about to get into the true power of Excel. This is where the true power of Excel lies. Let's say I want to have this column be the total. And I want to multiply 53.25, because that's how, many, how much this segment is, times two because there's two of them. Well, I have two options. I can either pull out my calculator and I could say, oh, it's um, $106.50. So 106.50. I could type that in if I want. Oops. But that brings us to another option, another problem, user error. Typing the wrong number in. That's ugly. So right now it looks like I have $106.50 worth of inventory in the tires department. But what happens if I sell one tire and that goes down? My sheet didn't change. That's part of the problem that you have with these sheets. And this is exactly why Excel is so powerful. Instead of typing in the number, instead of calculating it myself and typing in the number, I'm going to do what we call a formula. I'm going to start with the equal sign, and I'm just going to tell it what I want it to do. I want it to take this number, and I want it to multiply times this number. I hit the enter key, and lo and behold, it's back to saying $106.50. But when I click on it, you see the formula here instead of the number. This is important because let's say I get two more tires in and now I got four. It automatically updates right here for me. This is so very important. I can't even begin to tell you how important this is. Because I'm going to have every one of these automatically update. And all I got to do is put in the numbers. And then I'm going to have a total down here that adds all of these together. So if I change this one, this one will change and the total will change. Well, I may have other stuff that works based on these numbers. So I may have changed this one thing from 4 to 3. That might do, I might have 15 different formulas on my sheet that all need to know that and use that information. And it all automatically updates because I have told it to use whatever's in this cell times whatever is in this cell to be right here. So let's do another one. Let's say equals this cell times this cell. And I hit the enter key. All it did was said 6 times 40 is 240. But no matter what, if I decide to come in and do 8 of these now, that changes to 320. Oh, I got two more tires in. Now I've got five. That changes to 266. This is amazing. This is so, so helpful. And here's something else. Every one of these is going to use the same formula. This cell is going to be this times this. This cell is going to be this times this. I don't have to rewrite my formula each time. If I come here to this bottom corner and I click on it and I drag it down, it's going to fill in that same formula in each of these places. Look at this. When I come here now, I see that this equals this times this. So I didn't actually have to type it. How incredible is that? Now, let's say I come down here and I want the total um, of everything. Um, let's change that instead of total. Let's say overall total. And let's make this column just a little bit wider. So that it'll fit. So, I can go in and I can tell it to add all of these together. But I don't have to. This is another very important thing with Excel. I can click this auto sum and it's going to say, oh, are these the cells that you want to add together? And it's going to say, it's going to use a function called sum and it's got F3, which is where it begins, which is this cell, and F8, which is where it ends, which is this cell. And I can adjust that if I want. But if I just hit the enter button, now it's added all of those together for me. 
And like I said, I just sold a tire, so I've got one less. That changed, and that changed. Oh, I sold another tire. They both changed. This is why Excel is so incredibly, incredibly powerful. Because as long as your formulas are set up properly the first time, or, or corrected at some point, this sheet, I could use this sheet for 10 years. And as long as I don't have, I mean, I can add more stuff on it, but as long as I don't have to um, redo my formulas, my formulas will always be correct. Now, instead of $40, this one just went up to $60. So I type 60 and oh gee that updated this amount and it updated this amount. It's incredible. So this this brings up another function. Or this brings up the function sum, which I could have typed. Let me just do that here. Um, let's do OT example. That stands for overall total example. I could have actually typed equals sum and see how it comes up here in this box. If I click on it or hit the enter key and it's going to say, oh, you didn't finish. So I can come up here and I could say parentheses and it's going to ask me where I want to start. I could start on this one. Maybe I want to sum up this one. I don't know. But let's go ahead and start on this one. Since I'm here, I could either type F3, F3, colon, and I want to go through, let's say I don't want this bottom line. Let's say the antennas are something else, so I just want to sum up for the through the seats for now. I can either type in F6, or I could click on it, and it puts it in there for me. All i got to do is finish my example. And then if I say, oh wait, I did want the antenna to be on there. All I got to do is go in and change it. So it doesn't matter if I use the built-in function or if I typed it myself, it come up with the same example. And as I said before, oh, now I've got five tires. This one changed and both of these changed because they're both using this one in their calculation. I hope you're starting to see how important this is. And um, I'm going to go ahead and leave it off for there and jump in with something else in the next one. So anyway, make sure you save my uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I hope to see you in the next segment. All right, bye.